Hi everybody, I'm Ricardo with Tech Rep Marketing and I am here at Northern Sound and Light and it is my distinct honor uh, to produce and show to you the brand new Studio Live 32 from Presonus Electronics uh, based out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful board, as you can see, um, aesthetically gorgeous. I think Persona's really knocked it out of the park with this one. So we have a 32 channel mixer. As with the Legacy of Studio Live, we have a uh, fader for every channel. So we have a full 32 channel uh, faders in front of us. They are motorized, so I know a lot of people are excited to hear that. Been waiting on that for a while. These are motorized faders, and might I add, touch sensitive motorized faders. Here's why that's important, because in other mixers or some of our competitors, our friends on the other side of the industry, um, what happens or what can happen is the motors underneath the faders will kind of fight you, not fight you, but you'll feel them trying to budge when you change your layers. With ours, they're touch sensitive, so the board knows when you're touching the fader and therefore the fader will not move, it will not resist you. Hence. Uh, really minimizing the chance for that motor to be worn out or become uh, destructive. <clears throat> okay, so moving right along, I'm gonna try and do my best because I'm standing behind the board. Um, but moving right here to the fat channel, we have our inputs, okay? Uh, right now, if I go, for example, into channel one, this is my overview. So when I hit my input, uh, this is my overview of the channel. So I have my gate, my compressor, my EQ settings, basic overview, my aux sends, subgroups, everything on one page for me uh, for that channel that I selected. Then if I keep moving, I have my gate, a basic gate uh, from Studio Live, really good gate. This is the exciting part though. If I go into my compressors, I have a few uh, choices that I can make. I have the uh, Studio Live compressor that comes from PreSonus, but then I also have something really cool, and this is straight out of the studio world. I can easily also choose to have a tube compressor, or I can even choose to have a FET compressor. I can have this on all of my inputs. That is an amazing feature uh, that PreSonus has given to us. What that enables us to do is to bring a really warm studio uh, sound uh, with our compressors into a live environment. That's something that I don't believe has ever been done before. If I keep moving, same deal. I can go into my uh, EQ settings. I have my standard Personas EQ. Um, and as you see, when I go into my EQs, the colors correspond to the frequencies that I'm uh, selecting and, and playing with. Uh, but what I also have is the ability to touch any of these frequencies and then my center encoder uh, makes the adjustments that I that I uh, enable on it. So that's our EQ, but it gets even better. I also have a passive EQ. Okay, again, another gift from the studio world that we can bring into a live situation. And then I also have a vintage uh, EQ. So, I mean, again, cannot stress enough, bringing a studio sound to a live environment, bringing a warm studio sound to a live production. So, I mean, you're talking about amazing guitars, drums, even vocals, whatever bringing a real studio quality sound in a live environment, beautiful. Uh, moving on along, I have my aux sends. <clears throat> That's a quick way to get to my aux sends they show up on my encoders here. Uh, I can either touch to make my sends to my auxes, of which I have 16, 16 mix outputs, okay? Mix outputs because they can either be auxiliaries or they can be subgroups. Uh, but that's my way to get quickly to them from that page. Here's something really exciting that Personas gave us. This is a user-defined fat channel. What does that mean? That means that when I hit this user button, all of these encoders and buttons, I can customize to be what I want. So I can even go into this button, for example, and say, okay, I want the encoder, I want the knob to be my pan, but I want the button underneath it to be a mute button. I can go to this button and say, I want the knob to be my mix for three, and I want the encoder beneath it to, I don't know, let's say, put my compressor on auto mode. I can completely customize all eight of these channels, or all, all eight of these buttons, to whatever I want. So that's a user-definable fat channel. Customized fat channel layer. And then when I'm done with it, or if I get a little lost, I can just hit the user button again, and I'm back to where I started from, okay? <clears throat> And then we also have an AB button. Just like we have in some of our other Studio Live mixers, you can have two different fat channel settings per channel. So let's say you got a vocalist and they need to share, you got two vocalists, they need to share one channel. 
I can flip, fade or flip between those two. Or if I have, you know, I'm doing a, uh, a, I'm doing a, a gig and I'm playing a Les Paul and I switch to a Strat and I'm using the same channel, instead of me going in and recalling the scene or me trying to make adjustments on the fly, I just do it before the show and A, B and switch between those uh, different settings. So really awesome stuff. <clears throat> Moving on down, this is our input source, analog for our XLR uh, cables. We do have some combo jacks, so it could be uh, line in, but that's our analog uh, inputs. USB, so we got USB in the back. Finally, we have the ability to use capture on USB uh, uh, codecs. So that means you can use it on a PC too, as well as a Mac. Uh, <clears throat> and it's USB 2, not USB 3. So I can multi-track record, WAV files, all of my inputs from USB into my computer. Then I can take that and either do a sound check and dump it back onto the board, or I can take that and put it to my favorite DAW, my favorite DAW Studio One. But I can take that, put it in the Studio One or the other guys, and then that's when you can do your post uh, um, editing. So it's really cool. And then I also have an SD card. SD card? Yes, SD card. We have an SD card slot here. I now have the ability to record, multi-track record, straight to an SD card. So I don't even need to have a computer. I can multi-track record to an SD card and do a sound check from the SD card if I want to. That means that I can use the capture software that does come with the Studio Lives. I can use capture and record to an SD card as well to as to a computer at the same time. So your computer crashes, somebody walks off with it, you gotta find them in the parking lot, but you gotta keep the show going for now. You can just multi-track record to your SD card at the same time. That's your backup, okay? And then we also have a uh, uh, network. That will enable us to record or send from our computer. So it's a bi-directional uh, send with just a Cat5, Cat6 cable. Amazing, amazing stuff. <clears throat> Moving all along, we have our copy button so I can copy my channels. Uh, and because it's a fully digital board, I can copy my preamp levels, I can copy uh, my phantom power, fader levels, whatever. I can copy uh, or copy the colors or the names, copy and paste those colors as I, I choose to do it. So it's really a really awesome feature. And then we also have our uh, presets loaded in as well. So you, if you don't know anything about mixing and all you know is what are on those channels, we have the presets built in for you. So you just have to go in, find that instrument or find the vocalist or the tuba or the tambourine, whatever it is that's on that channel and you can just load that preset. We make it super, super easy. Uh, moving all along, mute groups, or I'm sorry, our effects mutes. And then we also have our tap tempo and I'll get to the effects in a second. Our home button always brings us back home. It's always good to go back home, ask mama. Uh, and then we have our effects sense. We have four effects engines. I say four effects engines because I'm not relegated to two delays and two reverbs. It can be four reverbs. It can be four delays. It can be three reverbs and one delay, so on and so on. You get the picture. Four effects engines for you to decide how they're allocated and used. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm too excited. Um, we got our scene, or our, our, our scene storage or recall uh, right here, okay? That's a little self-explanatory because it's a fully digital board. You can go in, let's say you're a high school and you have four different productions, okay? You have Annie and you have, I don't know, The Little Mermaid and High School Musical from the movie High School Musical. Well, you can go in and save scenes and completely save the preamp levels, compression, the whole board, fader levels, and then you, all you have to do is go into your scenes and just choose which, which, uh, which production you're working on and everything comes up again. Eliminating points of failure. You might have one guy, one woman who knows how to work a board. Maybe she can't make it, he can't make it. All you got to do is go in and find that scene, recall it, maybe move the master fader up and down a little bit, maybe make a little adjustments to the faders for those channels. But other than that, everything is already set up. Taking advantage of the digital stuff. Thank you to all the geeks and nerds, including myself, uh, who really paid attention to math class and gave us that ability with this thing we call computers. Okay. <clears throat> So, going on along, we got our monitors, right? Got a headphone jack right here. That's where I pick and choose what I want to listen to. Uh, monitor and a headphone uh, output, and then our solo buttons as well. A little self-explanatory, so I won't go into it. You guys are smart. Moving on down, I do have a cool layer right here. Okay, and you, you'll notice it has previous and next. I'm going to explain why in a second. Um, so, we have all our inputs down here. If I hit the next button, 
Ooh, it moved. Look at that. That's my effects returns and my auxiliary inputs, my talkback mic. By the way, there is a dedicated talkback mic input um, with phantom power if you need it. Uh, but that's where that's uh, going to show up are my effects and my auxiliary inputs. Moving on down, I got my inputs, of course. I have this. What's this? A user layer. What does that mean? That means that I can take any of these channels and assign them to whatever faders I want. That's a simple way to put it. So you can have your own customized layer of, of your channels, however you choose to put them together, on that, input, uh, on that user input bank. And I'll go back to my inputs. That's my main mix. Then check this out. So I got 16 mix outs. And I already explained that they can either be auxiliaries or subgroups. But I have 16 of them in the back. 12 XLRs, and then I got four uh, quarter inch TRS. <clears throat> I can quickly make adjustments and stands for those mix outputs. So I can just hit mix one, and maybe my guy Mark was recording me. He wants a little bit more drums. He doesn't want my vocals at all. That's his mix. This is Angie's mix. This is Chris's mix. This is Antoine. Okay, I can make my quick adjustments and I'm out. In and out. So we put them on the faders, you can get to them quick, jump right back out to your main mix. Uh, front of house guy. My effects sends, again, I got four engines. Really quick, really simple to explain. They completely revamped the effects engines. They sound fantastic. I think you guys are going to like it, but you can be the judge of that yourself. Okay, moving right along. So, you'll notice that we have 1 through 24 here, and then we have 25 through 32 on this side. Here's why. Because this layer can be customized. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if I hit my auxiliary inputs, that's, again, my effects returns and my auxiliary inputs and my uh, uh, talkback and tape input. We saw that earlier, remember? They mirror each other. Why is that important? Because what if I need to make adjustments to my effects returns, but I also need to make adjustments to channel 31? That's when I can say, okay, I'm going to make my adjustments to my effects returns or auxiliary inputs, and then I can also jump real, real quick here and make my adjustments to channel 32, 31, whatever. I don't lose it. it. It just moves, okay? It's really cool. So that's my auxiliary inputs. DCA groups. We have a lot of DCA groups. Um, I can take my drums and put them all into one fader, okay? Um, or I can take my strings and put them all in one fader. My vocals, background vocals, put them all in one fader. Um, and then if I do need to make adjustments, for example, to my drums, which I already I did before we started the video, if I have my drums set up, okay, and I'm bringing the, the faders down and up, bringing my drums in, fading them out, but I need to make some adjustments to my time or to my kick, I just hit uh, my drum layer and then it spills out on the hair. And then I can make my adjustments and then jump right back out, okay? Really cool stuff. So I have 24 DCA groups. So I got eight uh, faders right here. If I wanted to uh, get to my next layer of DCA groups, I just hit the next button. I can hit it one more time because we have three layers. Three times eight is 24. <clears throat> right below it, we have our mix masters. Uh, effects, um, <laughs> master sends for our effects or, or for our uh, auxiliary outputs. And here, we got one through nine. Oh, I'm sorry, one through eight, and then I go to the next one, and that's my nine through 16. Then I could jump right back out. Again, Personas did a good job of making sure that this had a really good, fast workflow, okay? Um, last but not least, and you know, I'm, I'm, missing, I'm missing a lot of stuff. It's a basic overview. Uh, we do have a graphic EQ here that we can enable, and if you want to uh, make some changes to your graphic EQ, they show up on the encoders. Uh, but with the update that will be coming soon, those graphic EQs will show up on your fader. So that'll be cool. And then we also have RTA outputs or RTA uh, displays as well. So really cool stuff. That's your graphic EQ. Last but not least, at least for this video, uh, the Studio Live 32 Series 3s come with Studio One Pro. That's the fully unlocked DAW. Okay, so that is quite... Uh, that is quite a, a gift to get for buying the mixers that you get a fully unlocked, super powerful, super easy, drag and drop, really customizable DAW that's going to really take your production and your recordings to the next level. So you might think, I'm only going to use this for a live situation. Why would you waste a DAW that's that easy and that dynamic and powerful to use? Now you can finally become the super rock group that you dreamt you would become when you were a teenager before you had to grow up and go to work and support the kids. All of that stuff. Well, now you can do it. Take a couple weekends, 
get your buddies over and man i mean you can really expand it so again studio live all right we are bringing studio quality with some of those eqs and compressors or we can use them in the studio setting or or and or we can use it in a live setting again studio live got some classic emulated compression and eq going on multi-track record to an sd card multi-track record with usb multi-track record with a cat5 cable <clears throat> touch sensitive motorized faders, four effects, customizable user la uh, layer, 24 DCAs. This is awesome. Of course, I'm leaving some stuff out. It's a lot to take in. So because of that, I will ask you if you have more questions or if you want to find out more about the, the board and get a little bit more in depth, uh, I encourage you to go to Presonus's website, www.presonus.com or call one of your friendly faces uh, at Northern Sound and Light. So my name is Ricardo. I'm with Tech Rep Marketing. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. And by all means, please take a look at the studio live. It is jam packed with stuff. It is awesome. It is beautiful. All your friends will be envious. You'll be the coolest kid in class. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.